It was a busy day here on campus and a busy afternoon here at Compton Family Ice Arena as the number four Notre Dame men's hockey team hosted Michigan Tech in a Sunday matinee. The Irish would get on the board first, just about three minutes left in the first period. TJ Tynan sends it to Vinny Henestroza, and Henestroza one times a powerful shot by the Michigan Tech goalie to give the Irish the lead. Notre Dame has not trailed yet this season. It's still early in the year, but you know if we can get off to a good start every game, I mean it certainly bodes well for our, our chances because uh, you know scoring the first goal is a big thing in hockey. I mean it usually has a, a positive impact on the outcome of the game. Lots of action in the second period. Shane Tacker shoots one from the point, and the Irish players in front of the net screen the Husky goalie. And Tacker has his first goal of the year. Notre Dame leads two to nothing. But the Huskies would answer just 30 seconds later. Taylor Heinenen shoots and scores to cut the Irish lead to one. And just about a minute after that, Tyler Patan gets the puck and one times one past Stephen Summerhays to tie it up at two. A five minute game misconduct penalty against Michigan Tech puts the Irish on the extended power play and they would take advantage. Jeff Costello, the captain, finds the loose puck in the paint and he puts it into the back of the net to give Notre Dame back the lead. 18 seconds later, Mario Lucia adds a fourth goal for the Irish. And with seven minutes to go in the period, Henestroza powers in his second goal of the game. Notre Dame scores three goals in one minute and 46 seconds to take control. The score is five to two at the end of two. It was a kind of a turning point of the game. I and mean, when they came back and tied it, I mean, uh, you know, I thought I thought we, you know, again, similar to the Friday night as we got a little sleepy, um, you know, with the two goal lead. And and they were playing well enough, even even though we were up two goals. I mean, they were playing well enough to to be, you know, nothing, nothing at the time or two, two. So, you know, we uh, we were fortunate that we were able to capitalize once and get a little momentum and then, you know, to score again. It was it was huge for us. Sophomore Sam Hare would add two more goals in the third period to give the Irish even more insurance as they dominate Michigan Tech to win by a score of 7-3. to three. We're learning a lot about our guys right now, about our team, so you know the fact that we're 4-0 is great, but um, you know we got another couple non-conference games and then we get into Hockey East play, so we want to be, uh, you know, be prepared for that series, or our opening series in Vermont a few weeks from now. So we've got one more tough non-conference series on the road, and um, you know, Duluth's a, a good program, so we're going to have our hands full again next weekend. The Irish will hit the road next weekend as they head to Minnesota Duluth for a two-game non-conference series. For Fighting Irish Digital Media, I'm Megan Bastido. Go Irish!